wasn't necessarily anything specific that I needed to fix. It was really me getting better at what I was already doing because I knew I was good at it, but I wanted to get better and I knew that, I felt that there was a few missing links, right? Some of the bigger things was that I was getting high incidences of metritis and RPs in my fresh cows. If I could fix that, I figured I could, I would have a better reproduction hurt, but I could never put my finger on what it was. And so I'd been introduced to the SCR system at the time, and it was just a heat detection only system. It just wasn't enough to trip my trigger in order to purchase the system because I wanted more than just that. Then a few years later, I came across it again, and at that time, they had put the rumination system in, right? So not only was it heat detection, but it was health. And I'm like, that's what I wanted to know. Within the first three weeks of me getting good, strong data, I realized exactly what it was. It was a combination of me moving my cows from the dry pen to the close-ups, and I was giving some vaccinations that we give our cows to maintain some maintain health. It was two injections that I was giving them, but I was doing too much at one time. And I was causing the cows to go off feed when I went to the when they went to the close-ups for too long of a period of time. They weren't recovering and they were having their calves early. And that just wasn't getting the cows off to the right start. So the simple change that I made is I did everything for my dry cows and my cows that are moving to my close-ups. I did everything a week early and literally overnight that problem went away. Then for the first month and a half to two months, I still continued to tail chalk because I wanted to put the system to the trial, right? Because you know, you still have that part of you. It's like, okay, do I really trust this and stuff like that? It was catching every single cow that was in heat that I would have caught in heat with the tails rubbed off. And it was catching three to four a week that were not rubbed off at all and you'd go in there and they were completely toned, completely in heat, right? So after that, and I, I haven't tail chalked in, well, six years, well, yeah, about six years now. I figured my investment was paid back by increase in, of about 3% in preg rate, increase in milk, less antibiotic use, less hormones, less shots, okay? Because I'm not treating all those cows, all those metritis cows, right? 25 to 30% metritis cows, that's a fair amount of uh, antibiotic use or interuterine uh, treatments or whatever your thing that you do is, plus the loss of milk, you know, uh, a lot of different things. So I typically say to most producers, for Tony Lauder and TNC Lauder's Dairy, our payback, it was still within, you know, less than a year, I say eight to nine month payback, even at, at the time, maybe $14 milk, right? So milk production wasn't that high, but we saw a half to a pound, you know, within the months following uh, increase in milk production. We're now back then, we might we might be milking 80 pounds, right? Now we're at 95 pounds of milk, right? You know, just in that short amount of time. When people come and talk to me, I always say, I hope you don't put this system in because I know if you put this system in, it's gonna make you a better dairyman. And everyone laughs, it's a good laugh, but it, it's true. It will make you a better dairyman, there's no doubt about it. So uh, it just makes, it makes life a lot easier.